Hello everybody and welcome to um, Big Kev's Thursday Cook. Today we're going to be cooking um, pork fillet, uh, pork, pork scotch fillet in a green peppercorn sauce served with rice and some red cabbage steamed with apple. So um, first thing first, I'll quickly wash my hands as we always do. Um, I know by now you're probably fed up with me saying we've got to wash your hands, but ready to be safe and sorry. So that's that. Give them a quick dry. Yeah, so what have I got? I've already got my rice on, basmati rice. I've got it in the rice cooker because um, that takes about 20 minutes. So by the time we've done everything else, it'll be ready. Um, so here I've got some lovely pork scotch fillet, which I've cut up into cubes. Um, I've got some red cabbage, which I've taken the core out and I've um, sliced up. I've got three large cloves of garlic, roughly chopped. I have some tinned apple slices. I have some chicken stock uh, powder, the trusty olive oil, and some chopped coriander. So right, first of all, we'll, we'll get the old wok going. So um, we'll put that on high, and uh, we will just put some olive oil in. No onion today, um, just a splash of olive oil. No onions in it today, we're just gonna put the garlic in. And, um, and I've used scotch fillet because it will cook uh, relatively fast. So um, you could, if you're gonna use a leg steak, that's fine. Just remember it takes a bit longer to cook, but with, with the time limit we have today. And, and, and the red cabbage, the idea of the red cabbage is it really shows up with the rice. Hi, Bo. Hello, Kevin. How are you? I'm fine. It looks beautiful, Kev. Lovely and colourful. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I always try and look beautiful for you, Bo. Thanks. <laughs> anyway. So we're heating up that, heating up that um, oil. Let's put the garlic in. I don't want it too hot. I just... I like to cook the garlic off a little bit. Nice and strong this garlic actually. And now start coming up to um, fry slowly. So I just wanna, I just wanna soften it more than anything, just to get the flavors out. You don't wanna make it brown or anything like that. Sponsor for the garlic today is it uh, Mr. Potter? Yes, yeah, well, knowing that he was coming, I thought I'd have garlic with everything, mm -hmm. including the cream custards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, no, our oh, Dave loves his garlic. Yeah, you can see I've chopped this uh, uh, Scotch fillet up into about or oh, two centimetre cubes. You can cut it into strips, cut it how you like, but it will cook fairly quick. So here we go. It's beginning to fry now. The the, um, the garlic. What's that, sorry? You were going to do pork, weren't you? Well, it is pork. Is it's pork scotch fillet. Scotch fillet is a cut. Oh. Is, is a cut. Oh. Cut of pork. You get Scottish scotch fillet, beef, scotch fillet, anything, but it's just a cut. Oh. And the reason they call it scotch fillet, I've cut it up now, is when you see the fillet like that, yeah. the fat goes like an S. Wow. And, that, and you'll see that's, that's the reason why. So wow. that's frying up now. Let's just get a bit more heat in there. Just test it, a little bit of pork. So now we're going to put the pork in. Mm. Sizzle. Sizzle. Um, now just toss this pork through the garlic. You just want it to get a nice colour on it. And of, of course, I forgot to mention, because it's peppercorn sauce, we've got some peppercorns here. Excuse me. So, um, they're the essential part of the dish. So, just in the fridge door, there's some cream. Could you get it out for me? Yes. 600 mils of cream. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. So, 
now that pork's browned off, keep it going, put the lid on, and that will cook for all its own juices. It's getting moist, won't it? Nice and moist. It will, it will, but it will. And um, just tip that down a little bit, just to simmer. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to go around to the stove uh, because we're going to do the cabbage. So if you want to follow me around, Mr. G. <clears throat> so now in, in this pan, uh, so just a medium sized saucepan, put some heat on. I want to put some, again, some olive oil. Oh, Probably about a dessert spoon, maybe a little bit more. Get that hot. And what we do here is we've got, uh, you, you can use fresh apple, fresh apple's great, but just for convenience, uh, I'm just using some uh, apple pie fruit, uh, which is just fine. So we're getting this heat going. Now we put the apples in. Oops. So we've got our apples in. Try them around. Bit of a bit of a mash up. I do now is I have my sliced cabbage. And probably half a cup of water. Give that a bit of a mix. And all this will do is bring the flavour of the apples through the cabbage. And the reason I'm using apples is because we're having pork. Lovely. So I put that on there. And we'll put a lid on like that. Turn the heat down. And we'll go back to our pork. It smells good. Mm. Now our pork's been cooking, you can see the, see the juice there from the pork. Now what we do here, I'm going to take some peppercorns, and all you do, just tip some of that brine off, get a spoonful of peppercorn, Two teaspoons, depends how hot you want it. Mm. And we put them in, but what we do is we crush them with the back of a spoon. I just have a little taste. Mm. I think I'll put a little bit more in. But I quite like a bit of heat and it's a different flavour. It's not like a hot hot, but it has a distinct flavour. So I'm crushing those down. And then I'm going to add my cream. That's 600 mils of cream there. Might seem a lot, but we're going to reduce it down. So that's in there. Beautiful. So um, we'll reduce that down a bit. So we need to bring the heat up. Mm. Excuse me, just stand here for a minute. Get a bit more comfortable. Um, 
So just, just watch you don't burn the cream. So as soon as it comes to the boil, just turn it down a bit. And uh, we'll let that get down a bit. I'm just gonna turn the heat down on there. I'm just gonna swing back to my apples. Again with cabbage, I, I don't like cabbage overcooked. Mm. I like it to be um, al dente. Yeah, crisp al dente. So, we've got that one there. Put the flip back on. There's lots of twisting and turning today, but I've only got a small kitchen. What's that, sorry? Twisting in the kitchen. <laughs> Peanut gallery is getting restless. Yes, getting hungry. Huh? I'm just going to get my butter out of the fridge. Excuse me, one minute. Now we use butter, this is unsalted butter. Um, we use butter when you use cream to, to thicken dishes. But before I put it in, I just want to put some some uh, chicken booster, chicken stock, dry powdered. So that's one teaspoon, about two teaspoons. I'm gonna give it a bit more of a stir. to see how it's going. Do I need any more stock or anything? That's just about right. So now, take our butter. We take about probably 100 grams. And what we'll do is we'll cut that in half first. And we'll put half of that in. Rich, Kev. It's very rich and it'll be very expensive. Leave your money at the door. <laughs> so we uh, we melt that butter in there. And the reason I've used unsalted is because the um, the stock powder is very, very salty. So this will just reduce it down. And. Uh, Waiting on the rice, which won't be too long. So, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, guys, if you're if you're interested, on the 28th of um, this month, which is not this Saturday, the Saturday afterward, we're having a um, soirée or a music night at uh, Greenwood Church, Motlock Road, Greenwood. Uh, starts about six, and it's our music group. We're doing their first sort of proper concert together, and we're going to have. Um, and on an interval, we're having um, some pumpkin and cardamom soup, and one of our client, one of our uh, guests, is bringing in some samosas. So, um, if you want to come along, please do. Starts at six. If you can read in Dave Potter or myself or or Gerard, just to let us know you want to come, just so we've got an idea of the numbers. And I think it'll be a great night. So, uh, please, please come along and support the music group. What day is that? Saturday, the twenty-eighth. Okay. Um, earmuffs are supplied. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're just reducing that down now. And what I'm going to do is fold this up. I'm going to use my usual little trick. I'm just going to... Um, get my bomb. A little bit of corn flour, the old starch, a little 
little bit of water. Mix that in. You know, I could sit here for hours and reduce that right down, but um, this is our way of quickening things up. You can see it's getting thicker as we go anyway, so, so I'm just going to add a little bit of corn flour into there. Get a nice, <laughs> creamy consistency. Even if it wasn't thickened, it could still be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you, you want your sauce to be sort of coat the back of a spoon, they say, and you can see that, that yeah. coats the back of a spoon. Turn that off the heat. Put that there. Put the lid on. Let's make ourselves a bit of clear way here. I'm just going to get my cabbage, bring it over. It's a bit hot. Now you can see that it's kept that colour really Beautiful. nice. Mm. And um, yeah. you can smell the other one, you can smell the cabbage, so that's great. Jewel like amethyst. I'm just going to put the lid back on that just to keep it warm. Um, and then we just wait for the rice, guys, which will be about two minutes. So what else have I got to tell you? I don't think I have much else to tell you, um, apart from um, everything's going fine. We had a nice meeting on Monday. We had injury matters come to our coffee morning, uh, blokes morning, and discussed anxiety after accidents. And uh, I think it went down very well. So uh, if you, if that's another morning. If you missed, please come along. And um, right now, I'm going to get my coriander. I'm going to take my lid off. I'm just going to sprinkle this last bit of coriander in. Like that. This will just give it another little bit of a flavour. How's the feedback about these videos you've been making? Yeah, uh, pretty good. We get quite a good following and. Uh, yeah. A lot of support workers use it, so that's yeah. good. Anybody been told you that they've followed you and done the meals themselves? I think so, yeah. Um, oh. We do get a bit of feedback. That's good. So right now, let's get ready for this uh, on my tongs. some nice cabbage on the plate and uh, right now such a beautiful purple yeah red cabbage or it's funny they call it red when it is purple but uh, that's that let's put this back over here Expecting this rice, as you see, the clip in minute now. It's been on 20 minutes, as usual. It takes its time, but it was turned off. We are the, we've been watched by the sous chef. Yes, 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 the rice cook. Our Dave's here. He's the uh, supremo with the rice. Uh, who else is there? Mike, have you shown them on our picture there, that, uh, Gerald? Just to show that they are here. They're not really Muppets. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I had to tell them off because they were talking. Oh, well, I bet, I bet they took a lot of notice of that as well. Right. Just got to stir. Now we're just checking in case we need anything else added. Good. 
Now with, with this, quite often, which I didn't have, and I haven't added, but um, use half the cream, but quite often before you put the cream in, half that amount, use, use 300 ml of um, cider, a really nice cider, and you put that in, and it gives it a, a bit, bit of a, an apple country sort of stock flavor. That, and then again, like I said, with the, um, with the cream, only half, reduce it. The longer you reduce it, the thicker it is. Our rice is now cooked, so In the fridge, in the top drawer, there's some coriander stalks, if you can get them from it. Yeah. This, this, I've already washed this coriander because I used it to be chopped up and all I'm going to do is take up sprigs and, uh, and uh, just for a final bit of decoration I suppose, there we go, we'll just put something on there like that. And, uh, and there you have it guys, you've got a, a lovely um, pork, pepper, um, creamed rice and apple inf uh, cabbage infused with apple. Enjoy. Catch you next time. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Say bye bye. Bye, everybody. That's it.